your car. I say opposite. You need to race. <laughs> What is up? Welcome back to another episode of Fabtown. Today, I'm going to be showing you a crucial step in getting your S13, S14, S15 ready for the track. What everybody wants to do when they uh, start drifting is add more angle. One of the ways you add more angle is by extending and modifying the lower control arms on an S13, S14, S15. We have an S13 uh, lower control arm here. We're going to do a couple things. We are going to cut this bump stop off. And then we're going to extend it and we're going to box out the bottom of it, which I've actually heard is not super necessary, but it's a nice touch. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. First thing we need to do is go ahead and cut off this bump stop. So we're going to get our trusty zip wheel and blast this thing clean off this lower control arm. Now that we got this bump stop cut off, what we want to go ahead and do is prep this metal, get this these weld mints ground down the rest of the way and prep the rest of this piece for welding. Once we get that all prepped, we're gonna put it in the bandsaw and cut it down in our fancy, fancy, handy dandy little jiggy jig. All right, now that we got these all cut up and cleaned up and the bump stops removed and everything like that, I was going to grab my jig out of the blue or the green box and throw these on the jig to cut them. However, my jig is MIA. I have no idea where the hell it's at. So you guys are gonna need a special treat. I'm gonna show you how to build a jig real quick. All right, so I went ahead and cut up some eighth inch thick plate. Uh, I believe this is four inches wide and then eighth inch thick down into a couple sections. These are gonna be the sides and these are gonna be the tops of our jig. Now they are left and right hand you know, proportionate. Uh, I am going to throw them in the mill though and square them up a little bit so that they are nice and perfect. Only because it's a jig, I want it to be as good as it can be. That way, in the future, if it changes at all, it's pretty close. So what I went ahead and did is got all those plates squared up and then I used the hole saw adapter that I made for the mill to cut out little recess portions for the sway bar pickups so that they're not interfering with the fit up on the actual lower control arm. I found this bushing that like perfectly spaces these on here because I want the hole pickup points to be the same and the cutting point to be the same left and right, obviously. I mean, honestly, you could make them cut in different spots. And as long as the distance was the same that you cut and extended, it really wouldn't matter. But aesthetically, you would want it to look correct and drill the holes. And then we will start welding the side plates for the jig um, back on. I'll probably Ming weld them on just because I didn't clean these super good. We'll be able to cut the arms and continue with modifying the lower control arms. All right, so the jigs are all made up. I don't remember where I left off, but I ended up, you know, welding all the plates together. And uh, we found a whole series of nuts and bolts that were the same, which is dope. Got those welded into place. I did uh, misdrill this hole slightly. So welding the bolt actually into place will help them be even um, because the hole position would have been over here. And if I just kept dropping a bolt in there, it would have been off. So oversize the hole and then move the bolt over slightly to where the other one needed to be and now they're good to go our jigs that we just made and continue with cutting these up to modify them okay now that we got these all cut and squared away i went ahead and bent up some one inch wide eighth inch thick plate um, you can get this at like any general store usually or like hardware store. They even have some of this, just regular old mild steel. I happen to have a block that's pretty much perfect for this. You take your bent piece of plate, which you can do in a vise that fits the exact shape of the lower control arm. 
And once you get that bent, like I said, you set this on here and then you set the control arm on here. And what that does is it allows you to have a frame of reference for how flat and stuff like that needs to be. And it gives you a good idea whether or not this may not be perfect, but you can get this piece and this piece perfectly aligned. And that is per that is important. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up and show you guys how to do that. I would recommend getting like something flat. It doesn't have to be a piece of aluminum. Like I said, it can be just a piece of um, square tubing to help you align these faces. Like I said, this piece does not have to be perfect. You need the alignment between the original piece and the uh, ball joint side to be perfect. And that's what matters. Okay, as you can see in that last clip, I was welding out the tops of these. Now what I went ahead and did while the camera was charging was out the plates on the bottom. Now, these don't have to be anything super specific. You just pretty much outline this uh, general shape with a marker and then cut it with whatever you have, either a cutoff wheel or a bandsaw. A crucial factor in here, you have to make sure that you leave room to put in your sway bar and your tension arm pickup points. Weld this one, as you can see, I'm not quite done with it. I welded this part out, but didn't get to weld this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld that out and that's gonna be it for this video, I'm pretty sure. All right, these are all wrapped up and done. If you guys like the video that I did today on like how to do stuff uh, and you want to see more of them and have ideas for what you want to see, go ahead and drop a like and a comment below and I will try and pick something for us to do next time that may help somebody out there trying to build some race car shit. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, Jesus. Make sure to leave a like and a comment, like I said, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.